I'm going to show you a great, I'm not going to call it an optical illusion. When I saw this, I had no idea how it worked. This is Jerry Andrus's, he was a, not only a great magician, but he created puzzles. Now, what you're buying is something totally not gimmicked. You're going to get this right here. It's, it's nice, nicely silk screen with two patterns on each side and has a hole in it, but it's not gimmicked. It comes with a ball, though you can use any ball. You could use a bigger one if you would like, a smaller one. What you're buying is the routine, his routine, which I'm going to show you right now. And it has printed instructions, and it also has a DVD. And he will show you how to do this concept with a paper bag, a folded up box where the, you open the box up and you can see right through it. Well, anyway, let me do this part for you. So it has a hole and the ball is going to be pushed through the hole but nothing is happening yet because the key to this you got to get your entire hand through the hole then you can push then the ball will vanish just like magic but wait a minute i'm showing both sides let me let me bring it over here and once again i'm going to reach through the hole you got to reach through all the way to get the ball to come back. Remember, just don't go like this. You got to get your entire hand and then you can push and that way the ball will disappear. And you can hypnotize somebody with the pattern right here. That's kind of mysterious. And now watch. As I come over this way, I'm going to reach in. I'm going to spin it around just like this and produce the ball again. The routine is a little longer. I'm doing an abbreviated version, but this will take you some time, a lot of practice. So don't think you're going to open it up and go, I got a, I got a piece of plastic with a hole in it and I got a ball. Look at the DVD first, read the instructions. And honestly, I've worked on this for a month in front of a mirror, but now when I do it, I get a great reaction, as you can see. It's called Zone Zero, and what more can I say?